Castrello Garwood, who was murdered in church, stepson was found not guilty and the hitman pleaded guilty to the church murder. imagine this. The Crown's case collapsed after convicted Triggerman Dwight Prince Bingham did not take the stand. Something is very wrong with the way evidence is collected. So many people walk and the ones that do not walk sometimes very light sentences. Without good investigation and tight evidence court cannot convict. The person who was said paid to murder bank Andrea Logue Garwood in Trelawney two years ago while she attended church has admitted to the crime and you know they admitting to the crime because when they plead guilty they get um, time them time cut shorter um, I forgot what they call it but anyway they get less time so it is in their best interest to plead guilty now it's in the best interest of the courts for the police them to gather airtight evidence so that these things do not happen. But this is not the case. Monday during his trial, Dwight Bingham entered a guilty plea. He is the second person to enter a guilty plea in relation to, to the incident on January 3rd, 2021, which garnered widespread media attention. Bingham's escape vehicle's driver, Leon Hines, has pleaded guilty and is currently serving a six-year term for illegally possessing a pistol. In court on Monday, the prosecution revealed that Bingham was sat in the church behind Low Garwood before escaping the church and getting into a waiting car being driven by Hines. He SHOT her four times. He dropped his cell phone to the ground and left it in the area. The third individual facing criminal charges for his alleged involvement in the killing is Mrs. Slow Garwood's stepson, Java Garwood. The first witness at the trial of Javan Garwood for his stepmother's murder in Trelawney. Church has told the court that the man who pulled the trigger, Dwight Bingham, told him he was paid $170,000 to do a job. Hines described to the Trelawney Circuit Court the sequence of events that accumulated in Logarwood murder on January 31st, 2021 in the Christian Fellowship Church. On January 26, Bing Bingham allegedly sent Hines a WhatsApp message informing him that he has been paid $170,000 to complete a task. He claimed to the court, I thought that it was to conduct some building work because I knew that he was into construction. On January 29, 2021, I leased an automobile, Prince Bingham, asked me to drive him to Falmouth on Sunday. He continued, at the time, I didn't know what reason. He claimed that after getting to the church, he parked in a lane next to it. I observed Prince get out of the car, carrying a revolver in his waist and a black pouch. A little while later, Prince left the church and told me to burn the road after I heard five blasts. He soon discovered his phone was missing. I offered to go back and look for the phone, but he declined, Heinz said. Heinz seems to have been innocent in this case because if him want to go back and look for the phone, that means uh, he probably didn't even know exactly what happened. But anyway, he's serving time. 
Bingham reportedly made multiple calls on Heinz's phone while returning to Rose Heights in Mobay. So because he left him phone, this is when he starts to use Heinz's phone. He mentioned the one, Janai, not answering his phone at one point. So he was using the phone to call Janai. Maybe want to tell him, say the work is done. He identified Janai when asked to scan the courtroom to see if he could identify the defendant on the dock. Javon Garwood was seated. The man who was allegedly accused of killing his stepmother, Andrea Lowe Garwood. Javan Garwood was found not guilty. After the prosecution informed the court that no additional evidence will be used against Mr. Garwood, the case was dismissed. Jurors were instructed by the judge to find the defendant not guilty of murder and accessory to murder on both charges. Dwight Prince Bingham, a convicted hitman, declined to testify, which destroyed the Crown's case. Whose fault it is? Because they were solely depending, they didn't gather good evidence, so they were solely depending on the evidence of the convicted man to close the case. After pleading guilty to illegal oh. handgun possession, Leon Hines, the driver of the car in which Bingham fled the scene of the church massacre, is currently serving a six year sentence. In Trelawney, Mrs. Lowe Garwood was fatally shot while attending church and the person who pay the case is not the case was not satisfied in court because if it is not the stepson then it has to be somebody else who paid the hitman who they need to find so many people it is so frustrating so many cases is that it's solved halfway are it don't solve none at all because evidence are tampered evidence are not gathered properly or on time we cannot expect the judge to find people or charge them if the judge does not have the right evidence to convict and if this is not the guy who did it who paid the $170,000 to the hitman this the, the system is so i am not going to say it's it's i am not going to say it's corrupt in this case i don't think it's corruption i think that it's just the incompetence of the law enforcement people who have gathered the information that they can get the hitman they can get the getaway man yet they cannot get the person who actually send them to do the act guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment down below